Hello and welcome to Microsoft Outlook 2010, uh, creating a message with voting buttons. Brought to you by Shift Key Solutions, and I am Eric Ripley. In this video tutorial, we're going to be talking about creating an email message that has voting buttons in it. It's rather helpful if you want to send out an email to a group of people, whether it's staff, um, uh, or fellow students or peers or what have you, um, or maybe even a class if you're a teacher. Um, in this example, we're going to be talking about creating a message that has voting buttons for a choice of um, uh, types of drinks, for example, because you have a catering thing going on. And you want to get everyone's opinion uh, before you decide on what type of drink to, to, to offer during your, your event. So let's talk about that. In order to do this, we're going to come and create a new email message. And we want to add our voting button buttons before we uh, send this out to our group. So in order to do that, we're going to be here on our message tab. And then we're going to come over to our tags group. And I'm going to click the dialog box launcher. From here, I'm going to come down to my voting and tracking options and choose use voting buttons. And by default, it has some things for us to choose from. Approve, reject. If I click the drop down here, I have a yes or no, yes, no, maybe. Well, in our example, I want to give choices of drink options, for example. So let's say I wanted to give three choices, coffee, tea, or soda. In order to do that, I'm going to just click here. It's already selected, so I can start typing. I want to put coffee. And I'm going to separate everything with a semicolon. Coffee tea, soda. So once I have these options uh, typed in, I'm going to click close. And then it tells me at the top, of he top here in the information bar, you've added voting buttons to this message. Once I type in the group or list of recipients and the subject and my body of text here, I can send it. And once I send it, the recipients will see receive buttons here at the top of their uh, email message in the information bar area and simply there's check boxes for them to choose from so if they click on one of those and press send it'll automatically give you a tally and it'll have a running tally from my original email here so I can see when people make a choice and reply back they don't have to type in a, a any response at all and that was easy I hope that was helpful and thanks for joining me